There's a brand new firmware for the Headrush pedal board and gig board. Want to know more? Then stay tuned. Hey there, it's Scott at the Pedal Guy. How you doing? Well, we're all about pedal demos, pedal knowledge, and pedal sales. I love pedals, and so do you. In this video, I'm going to take you through the brand new firmware that was released today for the Headrush pedal board and gig board. It gives you a new amp, it gives you new effects, it gives you new workflow features, it gives you an improvement to the looper. It's a really great update. I think you're gonna really enjoy it. Let's check it out. The first new feature we're gonna check out is the Tangerine Amp, which of course, as the name would suggest, is an orange amp. It has two channels, a clean channel and a dirty channel. And it's extremely useful. It has a great solid sound. I think you're gonna really enjoy it. Let's check it out. All right, here we are looking at the Tangerine demo rig that I've set up. Uh, and this will enable me to demonstrate channel one and channel two easily. Uh, the matching cabinet is a 212 cabinet, and of course, like all of the other cabinets that come with the Headrush, you get the versatility of applying any microphone that's available to it and put it off axis or on axis, change the break up, all that fun stuff. Now, what I really like about the Orange Amp here, let me call it, let me be politically correct and call it Tangerine, is that it's got a nice punchy sound to it. I've enhanced that a little further with some graphic EQ and even further than that with delay and reverb just to open it up a little bit more. But let's have a listen to it bone dry uh, between channel one and channel two and then I'll make some adjustments to the other effects as well. The next thing we're going to check out are the five new overdrive distortion and fuzz pedals that have been included with this firmware update. I set up a couple of demo rigs so that you can cleanly and clearly hear the difference between the overdrives, the distortions, and the fuzz. Uh, with this update, you get two new overdrives. You get the Anxiety OD uh, version 2, which is built on the uh, full tone OCD, um, and then you get the K drive, which is a Klon. And the cool thing about the OCD is that I have loaded up the original one and then I've got the other one next to it. And I want you to notice that I'm using the exact same settings, okay? So I want you to hear the difference between the old version and the new version because there's a massive difference in tonality. Uh, I've also popped in the uh, Detune, which is a brand new uh, modulation effect that's included with this update. So let's have a listen to these. <coughs> And then if we add in the detune, the detune is, um, it creates that nice warbly sound. And uh, well, let's just play with it and have, uh, have a listen to it. Okay, let's move along to the distortion and the fuzz. This update gives you two brand new distortions. It gives you the MXR distortion, which is right here, and then it gives you a, a D1 distortion, which is based on a boss. And there is a very big difference in the tonality between these two. And then, of course, you've got a fuzz bass on top of this. 
So this is by no means a small update. You do get a lot more tonality out of this and you just gotta play with it a little bit and find the different combinations that work for you. But let's have a listen to what this sounds like. One of the most exciting new effects in this firmware update is the acoustic simulator. It sounds amazing, it gives you several different options, and I think you're going to really like what you hear. Let's check this out. So in this rig that I've set up as my demo rig, uh, I've set up two acoustic simulators, one on each side so that we can have two completely different types of acoustics. So if we go to the top one here, let me double tap on there, you can see that I'm using a jumbo, and I've pretty much kept it uh, nominal as far as the levels go. And then going to the other acoustic sim, I'm using a standard bright. So I'm going to get two different types of tones here. Additionally, I've popped in the ambient verb, which is the ambiverb, which is a, uh, a new effect that's been built into this update, which gives you a really nice spacious, shimmery effect, if you will. Uh, and then there's the octaves up, which is, as the name would suggest, two octaves up. So you get a choice between one octave, uh, two octaves, or you know, separately by themselves if you want. So we go back to the top of the rig here. I've also got it set up on four different scenes. So we can go from dry to just reverb to using the smart harmony and then of course using the octaves up. So let's have a listen to what this sounds like. The next feature in this update that I want to show you pertains to the scenes function of the headrush pedal board. So this is more of a workflow feature, but it's a very useful one regardless. So in this rig here, I've got four different scenes. And by default, uh, the bone dry is the uh, one that's selected by default. But let's say I wanted the just reverb uh, scene to be the default scene when this rig is called up. Well, you just simply select it and hit save and save the rig. So now if I go down and you know select a couple of other rigs and then I'll go back to that particular rig. Now you can see that the Just Reverb ri uh, scene is already selected and ready for me to use. Now there's also an update to the looper of the Headrush pedal board with this firmware update, but I feel that it requires a bit more of an expanded demo because it's been a long time since I did a demo on the looper. So the plan is to shoot a brand new video that will cover the looper from start to finish and it will include this new feature, so stay tuned for that video. I hope you found this helpful, and I hope you're as excited as I am about this brand new update for the Headrush pedal board and gig board. As I understand, this will not be the only one we'll see this year. There'll be more coming, and I think it's going to be a great year for Headrush. So I hope you'll join me for future video tutorials, and we'll see you soon. Well, thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any further questions, be sure to visit us at thepedalguide.com. But in the meantime, Follow us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, and also be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for weekly videos and tutorials. Thanks for stopping by here at thepedalguide.com, where I love pedals and so do you.